Hi everyone, this is Natasha. I'm going to show you in this video how to use these Sizzix adapters for the Sidekick. So um, this adorable little Sidekick, uh, the Sizzix uh, Sidekick, which fits thin strip dies. You see the opening is small, it won't fit any of the steel dies, but it does fit um, sizzlets, these quick cuts thin metal with the adapter. Uh, cuddle bug dies, uh, poppy stamps and memory box, uh, Stephanie Bernard's, which are also made by uh, Sizzix. So I'm going to show you a couple of, oh, even these really fine detail that I showed, which is the um, Spellbinders Delights, this little iron fence, and this is a uh, memory box fence die. So these all fit here. And the benefit of using them in this machine is it's so simple to store because it takes such a tiny little footprint. Let me just dust off the bottom of it so it makes good contact with my work surface so I can show you. All right, so it's, yeah, I literally just dusted it off on my pant. So um, there's a hinge lever and once you have it on a solid surface it's on pretty tight. Now the only thing you have to keep in mind with the sidekicks, you have to um, crank counterclockwise towards you. The wheel won't turn, the wheels won't turn properly in this direction. It, they turn uh, going forward. So um, you've, if you haven't already seen, but um, sizzlets run through just like this. One plate, sizzlet, cardstock, second plate. The way the adapters work, let me move the sizzlet out of the way, is I'll grab, let's grab this cool door. So the way that works, and I always leave for my cutting plates one that's not cut into, so I always have a flat surface to work on, and I rotate and flip over one of them for the cutting pad. So, and the formula on how to place, which order to place them in, is directly on these shims. So, I think that's pretty cool. You don't never have to re remember. Always have them the direction side up. And because this is a larger die, I'm going to use two, which is perfect because the pack that um, is available from Sizzix is ten of them. So you could literally use them on a large strip die like this and, oh, sorry, hopefully the camera doesn't move when I move, and one of these large um, spell binders so you have enough to place all the way across. That's why there's so many. So that answers that question. I'm sure that was going to be... I know someone, I think Dawn had asked me, why is there a 10? But that's why, so you can use them either one at a time or multiples as needed depending on the length of your particular thin die. So again, my flat plate, the two adapters, the die with the cut side up or foam side up if it has foam, then this is where you're going to have to be a little uh, careful. So I've placed it over the adapter. I'm going to put, I have to trim down my cardstock. It's too wide. I want to make sure it fits through the opening. Because you're limited to the width of the opening. So let me pick that all up again. I'll just move that out of the way. So my at my base, the two adapters face up with the instructions face up, the die with the cut side up, my card stock, and then the second cutting plate. Now I'm going to take this entire sandwich and run it through. Oh, let's see, it unsuctioned. Run it through Sidekick, and that cracking is fine. Okay, 
So there's the cut one. Extra. And it cuts it in scores beautifully. You see that? Not a raggedy edge anywhere. Um, I know some people say that, well, I have shims created, but this is just so much simpler. The thickness is already calculated for you for the thin dies. So that's how easy it is. And again, the formula on how to put it together is right on each one of these uh, shims. Sidekick. So you start off with a Sidekick pad on the bottom, adapter, instruction side up, thin die, foam or cut side up, whichever it happens to be, paper, and then the second pad. So let me show you. Um, you could use it with the long strips with spell binders and the shims to cut these long strips. So you don't have to take out your big machines. Uh, even my small profile cuddle bug, I don't need to whip it out if, now that I have the adapters for the Psychic. And thank you, thank you so much, Adon, for getting this. this. She got this for me for Christmas. Um, if you're not cutting a thin die, you could use all of your strip dies in here. Let's see, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I could turn this sideways so you're not out of frame. Move some of my stuff around. There is one more thing that I'll show you after I show you this. I better do it this way so I could crank it. Um, there's a slight adjustment that you have to make when cutting a stamped image. You know the. Let me run. I need to turn this down as well. I know I should have been prepared and trimmed this all down already, but I did pull it out. And I love my Fiskars embossed or engraved skizzers. So plate, die, cardstock, plate. It's a long die. Bear with me. <laughs> you know, it doesn't feel like a cut. Oh, I did. There you go. Yep. So that's the long ones. Let me show you these stamped ones because it's slightly different. I have my adapters and get my already stamped image. Let's see, I have the little. So these are um, from Stephanie Bernard that I just got. These right here, and they came with the stamps as well. So I already have the image stamped. Now, in order to position it properly, I would have to uh, just invert my plate order because I want to keep one plate that's pristine and not cut into. So I'm going to put my cutting plate down. And then I'm going to place the cardstock and then center the die. And then just reverse the process. Because I want to be able to get a image. I don't need the second one. And then the and fingers crossed I didn't move that. If I did, it'll be cut a little weirdly. Let's see. Oh, I think that worked fine. There you go. 
So that's it. It's that simple. I'm really happy that I picked them up during my last um, Sizzix order because they were, I think they're still on special actually for $2.99. They're in the clearance um, section of Sizzix.com. If you don't find them in your local um, scrap store or the big box stores, 10-pack um, is $2.99 right now. And I purchased them uh, almost two weeks ago from Sizzix.com when they had a 30% off of your entire purchase which is one of those Tuesday teaser deals. If you don't already, sign up on their site uh, to receive emails, so that way in the morning on Tuesday you'll receive whatever the special is for the day. So that's it. If you have any questions for me or if you want me to try some other dyes, I mean, I've tried um, Spellbinders, Delights. I've tried um, the Poppy Stamps. I've tried the... Quick Cuts, here's the little State of Connecticut, came out really, really crisp and clean cut, no raggedy edges, just really, oh, and the little poppy, uh, potty people, also from Quick Cuts, where is it, it's the mini potty people, so there you go, and as always, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment, otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to thumbs up.